Hi guys, Hope Croston. Today we've come down to the very picturesque and very productive bank house fly fishery at Caton near Lancaster. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit uh, about fishing the washing line. Now, fishing the washing line is a really, really well known method, super productive on small still waters, big reservoirs, anywhere you can imagine. The only thing is we're going to do it slightly different and we're going to use some of the new flies that are available from Fully Mill that I've developed. Now with a normal washing line setup, basically you're going to use either a full floating line or in some cases a, a midge tip. You're going to have a buoyant fly on the point like a fab or a booby or a foam daddy or something along those lines. And then on the droppers, typically, you're going to have an unweighted dialback, buzzer, herzier, cruncher, some kind of nymph pattern. And this method is very, very similar to that. However, it is actually, in many, many cases, a much more effective and actually a more aggressive way of fishing with a washing line. So basically what we've got, I've got a 10 foot 7 rod standard washing line um, kind of equipment. This is the new Gray's wing model. On the business end, I've got a midge tip line. So that's a line with the tip section just sinks a little bit slowly. The rest of the lines are full floater. And then on the point, I've got one of the new uh, mini egg foobies, which is basically just a, a fab and a booby combined, tied with very, very soft, semi-buoyant egg yarn. So it's a nice buoyant fly, it's quite small, and it's very, very soft. So it's something that, when the fish is a, a little bit more pressured, it's not like a big fab or a big booby that they might just sort of bang at and peck at. It's something that they eat and it's very, very soft when they take it in. So that's what's going to be holding the cast up. Then the real trick is on the droppers, I'm going to be fishing with the new kickback cormorants. Now the kickback cormorant is basically a cormorant with a tungsten bead tied at the back end of the hook. Now what that does is when you fish the washing line with a combination of the mini egg fooby or the mini egg fab, and the kickback cormorants, you get a really aggressive lift and draw motion in the water. So with a normal washing line setup, when you move those flies, when you figure of eight them, and you get that sort of slow lift and draw, with these flies, you get a much more aggressive, very, very uh, sharp seesaw approach from the droppers. And it's absolutely deadly at times. The real trick with a kickback cormorant is the position of that bead. If the bead was at the eye, the nylon that goes to the fly would impede some of the movement. But what you get with putting the bead at the back of the hook is that it drags the back of that hook down and it really makes that wing stand up on end as it falls through the water. So often when you fish it, when you throw it out, you let it settle and you start to move it, you get this very, very aggressive opening and closing of the cormorant, which really stimulates the fish into taking it. So my basic washing line setup, 10 foot 7 rod, midge tip line. I've got about a 15 foot cast on about 5 foot between the flies, but you can vary that. I've got two of the kickback cormorants uh, on the middle droppers. And then on the point, I've got the mini egg fooby, which is going to hold that cast up. It's an absolutely lethal method, really should give it a go.